Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool, and I've got a couple of new vampire tools, or at least new to me. This is the Brute. It is a small uh, screw extraction multiplier, and this one here is the Boss, and it is a little bit larger screw extraction multiplier. They have a little bit of uh, overlap, but overall they're a different kind of plier. I've done reviews on other van pliers, such as this large kind of multi-plier, um, needle nose here, as well as a handful of others. Um, anyway, starting out, this is the Brute. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was when I first heard about this plier. Um, as you can see, it's got double tether points here, and you can see metal inside there. It has a black coating. Not sure what the coating is, but it uh, seems pretty solid. I don't know if it's an oxide of some kind, but it has um, the screw extraction jaws up front, which is why we have vampires pretty much. So I'll go over that in a sec. A couple other things. Um, it does have uh, a small set of knives here and easily cut, cuts uh, small solid copper. It's not designed for anything harder than that. Uh, it does have um, aligning jaws. That's another thing that Vampire is kind of known for, is the jaws line up when they close. I'm looking up here at the front end. has kind of a stock, you know, a, an angled stock, square stock grabbing area there. So it doesn't have kind of conventional um, plier grabbing. Um, it has an unusual feature. See these lines right here? I don't know if you know what those are for, but according to uh, Vampire, that is the indicator that the cutting knives are on this side. Um, I've tried to figure out why you'd need that, and the way I remember it is ridges on right return, you know, like red right return, so they're up there. But uh, it seems like I could easily figure out where those are. I don't know if I'm missing something, but there they are. They're ridges on one side, not on the other. And the actual flyer says uh, that it, or the, the stuff, it says grooves identify blade side. So the blade isn't on this side, which seems like it would be the obvious, but it's over there. So if that's on the right, maybe, but why? I don't know. Anyway, this is a, a small screw extraction plier. Now, why do you need screw extraction pliers? Well, every time I do a demo like this, people say, why don't you use a screwdriver? Because the screw isn't messed up. Well, it doesn't matter if I mess up the screw or not. Um, I, I'm using these differently than a screwdriver, so I don't have to drill it in, you know, or, or mess it up to show you. It still works. But it does grab various different sizes. If you are embedded like this one, you're probably going to need to dig down a little bit. That's just how it works. But otherwise, the, the way the ridges, they have vertical ridges in here. And those vertical ridges actually uh, grab vertically, grab the screw. Whereas a lot of pliers, it would grab sideways and you just slide. Um, and it also has a gap. And that gap is, the, is kind of one of the critical measurements that the different pliers have. They, they change in terms of the width of the gap and the arc of the gap. You can see there. Pop this one open so you can see, see how those compare. And it might look like a small difference, but in reality, it does make a big difference in what kind of uh, uh, radius of screw you can grab. But like this guy here, you can see, imagine that's all stripped in. As long as there's a little bit of vertical, I can easily grab it and twist it. See, somewhere in there. Um, no problem. This is another thing. If you have safety or security screws um, and you don't have those kinds of, of um, bits for your, your driver, that you can also use these usually. And it has no trouble spinning those out. Um, no trouble there. This one's up really in pretty tight. You have to grab it hard, so no trouble there. When I get up to something large, I'm I'm kind of near the edge of the radius. It doesn't work quite as well. Um, of course, you can use it with, with uh, square fasteners as well, or not square, hex fasteners. Um, but it has no trouble grabbing all of those. Um, it's a small plier, so it's, it's easy to, uh, to manipulate. Let's try the Boss here. The Boss, if you look at this, has more of a traditional kind of uh, general hex nut bolt grabbing there. It again has 
um, teeth, you notice because it's got more advanced cutters, larger cutters here, uh, the teeth do not even close fully at the top unless you squeeze really hard uh, because it's a bigger plier. It does not have any indication on the cutting side, so that's that. And uh, the spring loading makes it a lot easier, especially you know if you barely are able to get the plier into where, where it matters. Um, definitely feel a much bigger, heftier grab with these. But because of the larger size, that could create more of a problem. And you can see just how much smaller um, this thing actually is. So that's one of the trade-offs there. Uh, as far as cutting, it's you can cut uh, heavier uh, wire and small steel wire. The steel wire, and by the way, this is the revised version. Uh, it was revised um, one year ago, in November of 2022. So essentially a newer version came out, and that's this one that I'm holding. But anyway, it, you can cut up to a two millimeter stainless steel wire with this one. Um, steel wire, 3.2 millimeter diameter and up to four millimeter copper. So it's that's pretty substantial. Um, whereas this guy here um, is generally limited to much smaller wire. Um, the uh, actual, let's see, I don't know if I've got the, anyway, little wire. Can't see exactly what the limit is. Uh, but I love these things. If you don't have any of them, Vampires are excellent. I like the name. I like the red. You can get um, the engineer style as well. But um, as far as, as screw extraction pliers, I've got other brands, including um, you know ones like the the Knipex. I just find the Vampire actually works a little bit better. Um, I have a snap-on in my pistol grips. These are just outstanding. And then the little ones. That's why I really like the. Uh, the needle nose, however, that radius is too small for any larger size screw. It just um, barely, barely hangs on. But when you get into the little tiny stuff, that's when this thing really sings. And then you can also kind of drill down. You can see how messed up that screw is, but I can get a hold of it with these and spin it out. I wouldn't, I don't know if I could have gotten in there with these unless I dug around just simply because you've got to carve out some wood. But anyway, there they are, the uh, Brute, highly recommend, and the Boss, another winner. Both of these uh, are excellent and they round out my Vampire selection. And with that, Doc out.